Okay. So the next word starts with these three letters, ha, lam, and fa. Okay. This means to come after. Ha, la, and fa means to follow or to come after. Okay. And the word Hali Fatun means someone who comes after. What is the meaning of Hali Fatun or Khalifa? Khalifa means someone who comes after. So if, if there is a ruler, if there is a king, and after him, next person takes over, he's called Khalifa. Okay. Khalifa or Naib is the same thing. Naib is the same thing. Yeah. Naib, Persian word? Naib, I think Persian. Nayabat. Mm -hmm. It may be Arabic also. So, Naib or Khalifa. Khalifa is like Khulafa Rashadi, means they follow after one another. Okay. So, Khalifa means someone who is coming after. Okay. Now, what, what does that Khalifa does? Whatever the previous Khalifa was doing, he takes the same rules and applies again. Okay, that's the reason he is following. Okay, for example, you have a president and you have a vice president. Okay, what is the function of the vice president is that whatever president has decided, he can go ahead and apply those things. Okay. Or if you send an ambassador to another country, then whatever the rules of the mother country, he's going to make sure that other, in other country, he conveys that these are the rules and the regulations. Okay, so that is Khalifa. Okay, so Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is saying that, and until now, you notice that it is not mentioned who that person is. There is no word Adam or nothing else is being said. It says this, there is someone I'm going to put on the earth as a Khalifa. So what this Khalifa is going to do is going to whatever the rules of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's going to implement those on the earth. Okay, that is Khalifa. So a man is being sent to live on the earth, first man, and his title is Khalifa. He is going to make sure that all the rules and regulations and commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are implemented and he lives on the earth for short duration. Okay? So that is what the word Khalifa is. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the angels, I am going to appoint a Khalifa. Okay? So I'm just going to leave the word Khalifa here because in English there is no single word which can cover the Khalifa. Okay. There are many words that, that are used but the comprehensive meaning is that someone who is going to be sent on the earth and he is going to represent the authority and powers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the earth. So angels heard that that Allah's plan is that he is going to send someone to live on the earth. Okay. Couple interesting point here is that when Allah says, I'm going to send on the earth someone. So it seems that angels already know what the earth is. Because Allah is using the word earth. Angels already know that there is some place far away wherever that place is. It is called earth. So they already know, so they don't ask anything about what this earth is, okay? But they ask something different. They ask a question, and the question is, Kalu ataj alu fiha. Okay? So let's look at that. Okay? The word we just saw, Kala, Kala means he said, and Kalu is the plural of that. Kala, 
he said kalu they said which means angels said something now because it's a conversation between two parties one is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one is angel in this conversation adam alayhi salam is not anywhere okay so one party allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said something that i'm going to appoint an angel i mean appoint someone as a khalifa on the earth when angels heard that thing they said something okay so that is what it is qalu they said means the angels said Now the next word is <clears throat> we just learned this word jim and lam and one of the meanings was to make or to appoint okay. and if we have these three letters from our grammar table fa n and lam which means to do okay and if we put an a ta in the beginning and make it taf alu taf alu means you do okay you do or you will do and you here is a single person okay taf alu means you do or you will do it's a mudare it is used for present tense and past tense both okay so if i use the same rule on these three letters this will become taj alu taj alu that means you make or you will make <coughs> i'm just using here present future tense because the person has not been sent on the earth yet okay so it is going to happen in the in the future okay so taj alu means you will make okay so i'm just using this future tense okay now if i put an alif before that with a kasra and hamza um fata okay. this alif here with a hamza and fata brings the meaning of a question mark this brings the meaning of a question mark okay so the word now becomes ataj alu ataj alu taj alu means you will make and ataj alu will mean will you make that is what the question mark is right that in english if you switch these two around you will make and will you make will you make becomes a question statement right in arabic all you have to do is just put in alif in the beginning ataj'alu so actual word is taj'alu by putting an alif with a fata on it and hamza in the beginning it becomes ataj'alu simply like ataq'alu yes if you put an alif it become will you do okay here it will you make or are you going to make it's a question statement so angels are saying will you make or are you going make to make okay so we we'll just write down will you make they are asking allah subhanahu wa taala something okay Are you going 
to appoint someone. Okay. Phi and ha are two different words. Phi ha, which can be written as phi ha, means in it or on it. In it or on it. Phi means in, ha means it. It means earth. So are you going to put in it? <coughs> Okay. Or on it, however you want to say, on it. Okay. And the next word is man. Man means who or he who. Okay. So man means he who. Are you going to put someone on the earth? Who? Who will do something? Okay. Okay. So the next word is fa, seen, and dal. This means to corrupt. Fa, seen, and dal means to corrupt something. If we add a begin a little in the beginning, it becomes Babe Af Allah. This will become Af Sada. These are three root letters. We can make bigger letters, which is the Bab, different Bab. Babe Af Allah by putting an Alif, so it becomes a different Bab, different category. And the word becomes Af Sada. The meaning is to spread corruption. So there is a big difference between to corrupt something and to spread the corruption. Spreading the corruption is like you are spreading in the society. Which is, you are making a bigger destruction in the society. You are ruining the lives of the people. So they are saying that Yufsidu is from this word. Okay? So, Afsada Afsada and Yufsidu. These are the two words. One is used for the past tense. One is used for the present tense or future tense. Yufsidu is the person who does it. Who does the corruption? Who spreads the corruption? Okay. The person who does the corruption is Fasid. Fasid is the one who is corrupting something. But Mufsid is from here. The doer of this is Fasid. The doer of this is Mufsid. Mufsid is the one who is spreading the corruption. Mufsidun is the plural of that. Yeah. So that's a difference. The both words you will see Fasid. And Mufsid. Fasid is from here because we put an alif in the here in the between the first and the second letters and it becomes a doer, sajid, fasid. But when you make the doer of this four letters, it is mufsid. Mufsid. Okay. okay. Which means he is spreading the corruption, mufsid. Fasid is maybe corrupted, corrupt, corrupt, corrupting himself. But mufsid is a bigger person. Okay. So Yufsidu means he will spread corruption. Afsada he in the past he spread the corruption and present tense and future tense is Yufsidu. He will spread corruption. Okay. So the angels are saying to Allah that are you going to appoint someone on the earth who is going to spread corruption? Yufsidu he will Corruption. Is it because they have an experience with jinn? That's uh, what it is uh, in Tafasir says because jinns had done the same thing on the earth before human being. So that's what they are correlating with. Okay. And the second word is fiham is in it on the earth. Okay, so this is what we have seen. 
in it. And then they are saying two more words. Wow means and. Wow means and. Next word starts with these three letters, seen, pa, and ta. Okay. The meaning of this is to spill or to shed. Okay. To spill something, you know, if you have something in your hand, like water, and you throw on the ground, you spill it. Okay. So that is, or the shed. Shed means the same thing to spit, or to make something to flow. Okay. Why it is he? It should be they. Hmm? That should be they. Like, you should do. No, because man, he who will do. Okay. Because it's a one person. Adam is being sent as a one person. Okay. So they are pointing to that one person. Okay. okay. So seen, fa, and calf means to shed or to spill something, okay? And yes, fiku means he will shed or he present tense or future tense, but he will shed or he will make it flow, or he will spill. Okay. Shed is the word which is generally used, but it means to spill something. Okay. He will, it's like yaf alu. Okay. So he will spill. Okay. What is he going to spill? The word is dima'un. Dima'un means blood. The ma'un means blood. And because there is a hamza, we put a mother on alif. So the ma'un means blood. Okay? If I put al before that, al means da. And what Al does, it takes out one Dhamma. So it becomes Al Dima U. Okay? But Dal is a Shamsi letter, so it kills the sound of Lam. So you pronounce Ad Dima U. Okay? So when you write down this together, you write down like. Ad Dima. Okay. You don't pronounce Lam. But then you pronounce Dal twice. So it becomes Ad Dima U. Ad Dima U means the blood. He is going to spill or shed the blood. Which means he is going to make the earth bloody. Okay, full of blood, which means he will kill people. Okay, so let me write down that he will shed the blood. <clears throat> so angels are pointing out two things here about the human being. Who is going to come and live on the earth? Okay. One thing they are pointing out that he is going to spread the corruption. Corruption is spread in the wealth. And the blood is spread in the life. Okay. Those are the two things that human being carries. Worldly belonging and the wealth. The other thing is his life. Those are the two important things we live in this world with. Our worldly wealth belongings 
and our life. Okay? Angels, angels are saying that this one, this person who you are sending on the earth, he is going to cause damage in both of those things. He is going to spread the corruption, which means his wealth and his belonging. He is going to abuse those things. He is going to be unjust in the distribution of those things. And then, the second thing he will do, he will kill each other and he will spill the blood on the earth. Okay? Fasad and Qatl. Fasad and Qatl. Right? So, those are two things they are pointing out. Now, question is that how do they know it? How do they know it? One answer was that, that jinns had lived on the earth before and they had done the same thing. So they are re relating that when this new creation is going to go on the earth and live there, they will do similar things. Okay? They are not mentioning that yes, he is going to pray also, or he is going to give charity also, or he is going to do good things also, and he will be obedient to you. But they are bringing out only the two negative things about two negative things about the human being they are bringing out and asking the question uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that if this human being or this new creation that you are going to appoint on the earth as a Khalifa, which is a very powerful word. Khalifa is a very powerful, it's like a, a vice president. Okay? So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the ruler and he is sending this human being on the earth with all the authorities and power and to make use of the earth as the human being wants to make use of and implement the rules of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is planning to send such a person on the earth but angels are pointing out two negative things of this human being. Okay, so inshallah we'll stop at this point. This ayat continues, we'll cover next time. And in, in the remaining part of the ayah, very interestingly, the angels say, وَنَحْنُ نُسَبِّهُ بِحَمْدِكَ وَنُقَدِّسُ لَكَ They talk about three things. We do your tasbih, we do your hamd, and we glorify you. Okay, all good things that we do, talking about their good things. But about human being, they are talking about two negative things. But very, one more thing is that angels are talking about three things about themselves. Those are all ibadat. Those are only the acts of worship. And that's all they do. That's all they do because their duties is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's all they do. But human being is being given more than that. Okay? He is not only being asked to worship, but he is also being sent on the earth to establish a just society. He is being sent for a test on the earth. For a short duration, he is going to be sent that he will be tested how he lives his life, both in terms of the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ibadat, and in terms of the mamlat. Okay? So he's being, being sent through a test. But angels are looking only only one aspect of that, and they are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So inshallah we will continue, and there are